This next match is scheduled for one decision to a finish. Once again, your referee, Uncle Steven. Nice round of applause for Uncle Steven. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by the lovely Diamond D. He hails from Las Vegas, Nevada. Weighing in tonight at 185 pounds, he is the five star stud, Joey Ace! There she is, boys. There she is indeed, Diamond D with Joey Ace. I'm a huge Diamond D fan. Do you like her, Jordan? How could you not? Look at that. That's all lady right there. Look at the calves on it. Look at the thighs. Wow. Joey Ace has his hands full tonight with the seven foot monster Malta the Damager. Joey Ace from Las Vegas weighed in only 185. Malta came in at 300 pounds. And his opponent, accompanied to the ring by the old man from the Isle of Malta. What an ovation for the seven foot giant Malta, the damager. This man is gonna be one of the scariest sights in FWE, Jordan. Oh, I know, I wouldn't want to run into him. Joey Ace seems absolutely calm. I can't believe it. Opening the ropes for Diamond D to exit the ring. And there he is. What a scary sight, Frank. Malta, the damager. That, that mask is probably one of the scariest things coming to the ring. Last time we saw him out, he had a... Outfit in the belt pop out. He can't even fit in the last one of his own belt. That's pretty sad. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have any of that tonight. The Maltese Priest at company. Malta the Damager, giving the blessings to the crowd. A seven foot giant. He's gotta make sure he doesn't stand up too quickly. He'll get a nosebleed. The Hooters girls giving the old high five. The kids here ringside enjoying the show. That is FWE, Family Wrestling Entertainment. Don't forget, folks, FWEWrestling.com. And also add them on Twitter, at FWE Wrestling. Mask comes off. And there he is in all of his splendorous glory, Malta the Damager. A humongous figure. How does Joey Ace combat the size of the damager? Got to take out the knee. Can't fight if you can't stand. Has to get the fight on the floor. Cut the big man down to size. Old Joey Ace wearing the damager's mask. And he throws it to the floor, a sign of disrespect. The ancient Maltese warrior's mask. You can't disrespect a man's culture like that. Final blessing here for Malta the Damager. Joey Ace trying to inspire the crowd to his cause. I don't think it'll work though. Maybe they should put Diamond D on the top. I agree. <laughs> he wants the referee to check the damage up. Make sure there's nothing hidden in those long leather trunks. Referee Uncle Steve says he's okay. 
You feel that Joey Ace just wasting time. Maybe a little panicked at being face to face with the damager and just how big he is. Wow, Demager asking the referee to check out Joey Ace. What's good for the goose? Referee says ring the bell and he does. We're underway now. Joey Ace has got to fight smart. Frank, he's got to fight quick. There's no way he can battle head to head. He's no, at no point should be tied up, trying to do any kind of overhead, any kind of muscle moves. He's got to stay away from as much as he can. Nice shot to the midsection. Overhand rise to the top of the cranium. And Malta just ties him up, drills a knee, puts him into the corner, and throws him into the liver section. And again, another knee to the rib cage. This one of those times you want to fight like Gorilla War style. You want to hit him real quick, get out of the way, come back in, hit him again real quick, because every time Malta gets a hold of you, this is what's going to happen. Oh, big clothesline from the damager. Joey Ace going to go for a trip to the outside. Yes. And head first into the fencing. And that'll comfort you. Diamond D's in the bosom of Diamond D. It's a very lovely bosom. I'm sure that's not what Joey Ace is thinking about right now. Why not? He's probably thinking about the foot he's about to get. I'd be thinking about a motorboat. Joey Ace is using the top rope. Drags the legs under now. Of the damager. And this is what he wants to do, Frank. Go to work on those knees, on those legs. So the big man can't stand. Oh, beautiful. Slow him down. Good strategy here by Joey Ace. Shots of the hairline here from Ace. Referee moves in though. But Joey Ace has slowed down the tempo of the match. Demager will struggle to get to his feet. Joey Ace trying to keep him down on the canvas. Now Demager's back to his feet. Overhand right. And Demager with just one punch spins him around. And the tide has turned again. Scoops him up. Oh, heavy slam to the lower lumbar region. Wow, there's a difference between a body slam and a body slam from a seven-foot monster like Malta. <laughs> When's the body slam? What's a body throw? This guy throws you down. Oh, side slam. One, two. Out of your two count gets the right shoulder up to his Joey Ace. We are not done yet. Malta said he's going through whoever it takes to get at Charlie Haas after what he did to him at Retribution. He's still wearing that uh, brace on his elbow there. Malta moves so quickly for a big man. His agility is amazing. Sizes him up here. Watch this. No ace out of trouble. Perfect. Now he's hung up on the ropes. And Joey Ace climbing onto the second rope. Oh, double drop kick! Spills into the ring, does the damager. Pin him. Chops the elbow, should roll him over and pin him now, but no. He's gonna go upstairs again here, Joey Ace. Is that a mistake? Should he have pinned him there, Frank? Yeah, I think so. At least get the attempt, get a two count if anything, get back up, hit him again. You never know, sometimes you get lucky. Now he's gonna pin him after the elbow, hooks the leg, two. Oh, almost got him. Plus, even if a guy as small as Joey Ace pins you, you still have to exert a lot of energy to kick out. Choke it. A blatant choke there from Joey Ace. And he goes back with those meat hooks to the jaw. A handful of hair. Double kick again. But still Malta not going down. Another double kick. Malta maintains his vertical base. A third double kick over the ropes. And onto the floor, but still not down. Joey Ace going to go for a high-risk maneuver now. No, thought twice about it. He gets caught in midair. And Damager just plonks him back in the ring. Look at the size of this behemoth. Malta's a tiny island, and he takes up half of it. Oh, kick to the butt. 
Again, Ace just slows the contest down. Oh, double kick. Maybe he's just trying to go for a count out win. Oh, balls him out. You are going to have to unload a lot of fury to stop Malta the damager. Oh, risky maneuver. Damager caught him. But Ace is trying to fight out. Ace is going to slide down the back. No, still tied up here. Who's going to win this? Oh. Malta puts him in the ring. Magnificent display of strength over the top rope. I guess that's why they call it high risk. Joey Ace, is he running out of options here, Frank? Yeah, he's trying to get... Because what's happening is the longer this goes, the more tired he gets. Malta's getting tired too, but he still has so much more strength and power left in him. Every little hit takes its damage. Every little bite takes its toll. Oh, beautiful kick smack bang on the kisser. That damager goes for the cover. Leg on ropes. Perfect. Smart move. I don't Smart think he move. would have been able to kick out otherwise. No, there's no way. Malta's getting too heavy. You're starting to see Joey start to slow down. Uppercut. Puts the chin through the top of the head. Let's have a look at it again. Oh. Beautiful switch up front kick. Catches Joey Ace. Yes! Is this the end now? Diamond T up on the apron. Show me top. Show me top. The distracting cleavage of Diamond D. It allows Ace. Oh, uppercut where the sun don't shine. That'll slow down the big man. Ace on the second row. He's about to ride him face first into the canvas. Is this the end for Malta the damager? Joey just has no sense of urgency. A flashy technique, it works for him. Now the cover doesn't hook the leg oh. and Demager just throws him off. Malta the damager getting back to his feet. Joey Ace wasting too much time. Little short knee from the damager, folds him in half. Handful of hair, throws him against the ropes. Catches him in a bear hug. Squeezing the life out of Joey Ace here. This is gonna be painful. Might break some ribs in here, might break a vertebrae or two. Elbows just managed to work for Joey Ace and got him free of the big man's vice-like grip. Overhand right. Oh, he just blocked that. Oh, wow, Malta spun him through mid-air. Malta is an absolute animal. And Ace slides out. Gives himself some time. How is he going to use the ropes here? Goes underneath, through the legs. Nice kick to the liver section. Nice punch, too. Joey Ace. Kick again to the liver, then to the thighs. Goes a little lower towards the knee. Back of one knee is all it takes. One strike from Malta to stop Ace in his path. Tombstone pole driver, no! No, this is the Maltese cross. The Maltese cross! The patented finisher! Oh, that's it! Surely it's over now! One, two, three! Wow, no one recovers from that Maltese cross. Jeez. What power and strength to get a guy up that high. We're talking about nine feet in the air and you're pulling a guy down to the ground. It is the most exciting finishing move in all of FWE. The Maltese Cross prevails for the wait, damager. Wait, wait. Oh, what's going on here? What is happening here? From out of nowhere, Charlie Haas. Wow. This is uncalled for. And look at Joey Ace hitting the Maltese Priest. Oh, come on, you gotta get the officials in here. He's choking out the damager. Jordan, this is uncalled for. Yeah, but what's Uncle Steven gonna do? Call for help, call for backup, call the police. Call his mama. Wow. Charlie Haas just attacking the damager here. You can tell why the damager wants a piece of Haas. This is just abhorrent. But this is the second time Haas has attacked Malta now. Why? It's like in Return of the Jedi when Princess Leia choked out Jabba the Hutt. 
Charlie Haas, what a disgrace. There was no need for it. He's still mad from earlier. Uh -oh, Steve, you better watch out. And Molina basically didn't show him any respect. Everyone th he thought that the crowd was going to get behind him, and obviously, let's, let's all face facts, guys. A hot chick who knows how to wrestle is always going to get more important attention than Charlie Haas is, that's for sure. Diamond D. Wow. I put in the call for you, by the way. She's waiting for the callback. You got the number for me? Yeah, I got it. Thank you, Jordan. Cheating on me again, Trevelyan? Don't you worry, Trick. We're supposed to tag team all women together. It's got, got my end all hooked up. And Diamond D leads her man backstage. A very busted up Joey Ace, but maybe not so busted up as the victor, the damage up, who was just assaulted by Charlie Haas. This is the second show that Malta's had to be carried out. Wow. He can't afford to continue taking this punishment. The Maltese damage up. That's a lot of carrying, too. Try to get that guy out of there. The big man. And the priest has also regained his composure. Good to see. Well, Malta the damage are getting the win, but... At what cost? Exactly.